Alright, what's going on, Gents and Gentlemen? Welcome back. I'm your host, Crazy Nate. We're hanging out at the Late Nate Show, and I decided, you know what? The second channel was designed to, like, dump any and every video that I wanted to make on the internet somewhere in case I didn't think everyone wanted to watch on my main channel. Maybe some of you all want to watch on my second channel. I feel like I haven't really been kicking out a lot of videos, so I'm trying to do better on that. And this is basically going to be, like, a series I'm going to randomly, sporadically put out there, and it's going to be, like, how to be a YouTuber with your host, Crazy Nate. Yeah, that's better. I don't know. Well, anywho, today we're talking about storage, and I have a Drobo. Uh, I did a unboxing of it, and I was going to be like, let's do a review of it, like, months later, and I lost the unboxing footage. If I find it, I'll put it at the beginning of this, and if you saw it, <laughs> you know I found it. If not... <laughs> One of the problems with making videos is you want to keep footage that you did or edits for whatever reasons, whether it's legal reasons, whether it's reasons you can go back and re-edit later, whether in case YouTube, the almighty, decides that they're going to lose your video, you need to keep original high definition versions of your video somewhere and high definition footage of stuff that you can't get again. I went to VidCon and I put it on a hard drive and the hard drive crashed. One of the cool things about the Drobo here is I have it on what's called <laughs> the upside down on what's called redundancy. So each green light you see here is a hard drive. If one hard drive dies, I can put a new hard drive in and I lose nothing. This is kind of an expensive piece of machinery. I'll put the price up here of what I paid for it. Hey, this is gonna be more laid back, not as fancy of edits. This is for me to help you. If you're trying to become a YouTuber yourself, you wanna hang out and try to learn some of this. If you don't wanna be a YouTuber, bye. I'll see you in the next video. Go check out one of my Easter egg videos or something. It's not a big deal. Not everyone has to be a YouTuber. But if you wanna be a YouTuber, I'm trying to help you out. So basically, um, again, you wanna consider where your channel's at. Be realistic with your channel. If it's not gonna be the end of the world, like if you're making $20 or a dollar or a penny, we've all been there. We all started at making a penny. No shame in it. But if you're, if you're only making like 20 or $30 off your video, it's not really the end of the world if you lose some original footage. Um, I mean, these things, just one of these drives cost me uh, about $450 on Amazon. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by Amazon. But I do have Amazon affiliate links in there. If you're going to buy the hard drives, <laughs> click the link and buy it because Amazon, for some reason, decides to give me a percentage of the sale if you buy it through the link. But nonetheless, this is my opinion. And I don't know if you know this one YouTuber called iJustine. If you don't know who they are, you should check them out. Obviously, you're going to know who iJustine is. <laughs> um, but anywho, so she did uh, a hard drive thing with Linus, and it was like 150 terabytes. Awesome. But if you start pricing that out, you're looking at like $5,000 to get rock and roll. And this is a little bit cheaper. If I remember, I want to say it's like $900. Correct me in editing if I'm wrong. Um, but then each hard drive, originally I went out and I got four hard drives. Ooh, that's warm. Four, four terabyte hard drives. So that's four terabytes, four terabytes, four terabytes, four terabytes, four, eight, 16. So you get 16 terabytes, but then you have redundancy, which means, you know, the whole hard drive loss. So I actually didn't have 16 terabytes to use. I actually had like 10 and a half or something like that. Anywho, I'm at this point in my road where I ran out of storage. I burnt through over 10 terabytes because I also have like a terabyte on my uh, computer and a few other terabytes here and there everywhere else. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to swap these out. I already started off with one. Uh, this is a 12 terabyte drive and I'm going to slowly swap these out. They're hot swappable. So you pull one drive out and then stick a new one in. It's going to rebuild all that lost data of the one drive. And then once it's done rebuilding it, we're going to pull out another one and then another one and then another one. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. This is already green lighted so all the information's there. So now I can pull out the next drive, stick in a new <sighs> That's a lot of talking. I'm out of breath. Now you're going to watch these all change colors when I pull that out. Yellow. See how it's flashing green and yellow? I'm trying to be as gentle as I can without making jerking motions because spinning disk hard drives, you don't want any movement. That's really hot. So now they're flashing yellow. That means, hey, hello, alarm. Um, one of your drives failed or is missing. If you miss one more drive, you're going to lose all your information. So we're going to stick this big old bad boy in there and let it rebuild itself. Okay, so now it's gonna pick that up and recognize it here in a few seconds. It's gonna keep flashing. So right down here, these blue lights, it shows you how much storage. Um, basically, all the lights aren't lit. There's like two more lights right here. Uh, zoom you in. By the way, that's my gaming PC right there because I am amazingly bad at Fortnite, so I thought getting a better gaming computer would do that. And if I could get good enough, I would, uh, I would live stream and, and game on my main channel for uh, Fortnite, but as you can tell, I haven't posted on my main channel because I'm not good at Fortnite. 
Anywho, so you see these blue lights right here, so it's red, it's like, oh no, careful. Basically it's saying, hey, I'm rebuilding on this, don't, don't pull it out or you're gonna break it. So basically you just let it do its thing and it's gonna keep flashing until it's done rebuilding. Um, and then I'll show you a little bit of footage of what it looks like on the main screen. So you have a dashboard on the computer as well that is gonna show you how much storage you have uh, that you use and how much storage is available. And then basically we're just gonna get this light down here, which is kind of nice. It, it shows you like how much storage you've used, just like a quick glance. I actually have this in my green screen room, which my bedroom is on the other side of this wall right here. And I put it in here because it's noisy and it's also like a miniature furnace. It kicks out a lot of heat. Uh, so I don't want my bedroom really hot because I edit in my bedroom. Uh, that's where the, the Toy Story room is. So I put it in here, punched a hole in the wall. I own the home so I can punch the holes in the walls wherever I want. And uh, I kind of made the mistake by going cheap and getting the four terabyte drives in the first place. So hopefully you watch this video and you learn from my mistakes. And the price it costs for a 12 terabyte ver hard drive versus a four terabyte drive, it's cheaper in the long run just to go get the 12 terabyte drives and stick them in there. And something that massive, 12 terabytes, that's why you want to put it in something like this Drobo where you have redundancy. Because if you put all your storage on one 12 terabyte hard drive and that crashes and you lost it, you're talking like years. Like, I can't go back and refilm VidCon, it's over. I can't go back and get that footage. Or D23, some of the footage I lost on that, like, you know, I have awesome characters that were in costume and everything that I got awesome footage of them saying, share a smile, they're contagious. Footage is gone, I can't get it anymore. So you have such a large drive, you have to put on something like a Drobo. Again, I'm not sponsored by Drobo, I'm just keeping it real with you. Uh, something like Drobo, it doesn't have to be Drobo, there's other companies out there that let you have hard drives in redundancy. So that way, if it crashes, which eventually all hard drives probably will crash at some point in their life, if you hold them long enough, this way you don't lose any of that data. But anywho, this is doing its rebuild. I'll come back a little bit later and we'll check it out and stick in the next drive once it's done doing its buying. All right, so we're back. This is day three. Um, I sh should point out a little note here. If you bought the Drobo brand new and you're just now starting up, it won't take this long to set up. The reason why it's taken me so long is because I had four drives of four terabytes and already had tons of, of data on there, videos, images, you name it, it was on there. So it's trying to transfer the data to the new disk and keep it on the old disk every time I pull one out, set it up, ask it, reconfigure everything. So if you're starting from scratch, it won't take this long. Um, if I were to pull all four drives out and put it all 12, then I would have been done ages ago. But uh, yeah, so we finally finished. Uh, it says it takes about 10 to 11 hours. Uh, it seems like it's taken anywhere between 10 to 20 hours. Uh, the last one, um, it's now like four o'clock in the morning and it just now finished. And yes, I'm still up, I'm editing the next video. My shirt that says Eat Sleep YouTube, it's kind of for real. I have no life. I'm just eating, sleeping, and working on YouTube. It's just my projects take way longer than I would like them to take, but if you want something to work on YouTube, you have to put passion into it, and you have to like put your blood, sweat, and tears into it and make it worthwhile, then you'll get a lot of people watching it. It's a little trick for you to take home for free. Yeah, honestly, I would say, at least for me, I mean, there might be a million other ways that people are going to say, all right, I'm opening up the next uh, 12 terabyte drive. But um, for me, I feel like making one quality video that takes you a month is better than making 10 videos in a month that were just kind of like, eh, took me an hour to make type of videos. You'll get better results, you'll be prouder of yourself, and you'll be more su successful on YouTube. This is a USB extension. Uh, charger thing, so I charge my Xbox controllers, my GoPros, my lights for my cameras, you name it, anything USB I drive it. So anywho, you see the light it went down a little bit. We're gonna start, start seeing the flashing, going, oh no, something's wrong. This is piping hot too, by the way, because it's been spinning. It's been spinning for like 24 or 48 hours now, because it's been rebuilding over and over again. Set that over there, let it cool down. Pretty sure I just burnt my fingers. <laughs> You're welcome, internet. <laughs> that was a little bonus for the haters. You can take joy. You gotta, you gotta make everyone happy that watches your videos, you know? And everyone's gonna have haters. So when you accidentally or intentionally inflict pain on yourself, the haters will love the video. Just kidding, don't, don't hurt yourself for YouTube. It's not worth it. Ooh. 
there we go. So the Drobo's actually, I can tell it's, it's getting much heavier than it was when the four terabyte drives are on. Those 12 terabyte drives are way heavier than the four terabyte drives. So now we get to do it all over again. We got three lights, try to take a mental note of that. Um, so now there's four 12 terabyte drives and one final four terabyte drive. So once this one is finally done rebuilding, which will probably be done rebuilding like late Saturday night or Sunday morning, I'm assuming. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's taking longer and longer every time I put in a new 12 terabyte drive in, which would make sense, there's more data to spread around. Because basically, let's say you have an image, what this is will do is it'll take portions of the image and put it in, on every single drive so it doesn't like carry it, and then it does some weird math equation so that any one drive has a, the other drive's data so it doesn't lose it. I don't know, I don't know how it does it, but it's magic, it's cool. Uh, if you watch iJustine's 150 terabyte drive, that's not really 150 terabytes, but we'll just say it is. Um, they, uh, Tech Linus, Linus Tech, uh, that guy, he does a much better uh, explanation of how it works. Obviously, he's an even bigger nerd than I am. Oh yeah, this last one, I totally forgot I bought a Disney movie with it. So, I didn't have this on Blu-ray. Uh, Blu-ray, Blu Blu-ray. So, I just got Cinderella 2 and 3. And hopefully, it's authentic. I bought it from Amazon, so I'll have to open it early because Amazon's policy to make sure it's the real deal. It says movie rewards in the bottom corner. Honestly, that's one reason why I upgrade this one to Blu-ray because I'm trying to save up for the custom VIP pass. That's like 25,000 points. I'm almost there. I only need like 3,000 more points, but anyway, that's why I bought that. So there we go. There's the final drive, 12 terabyte drive. We'll let this do its little thing. We'll go back to editing the next video. And uh, yeah, because everyone on my main channel is waiting for a video and I got to get that thing kicked out. But I don't want to rush it, you know what I mean? I want to look back at it a month from now and be like, I'm proud of that. And there's so many times where I rush things because I want to get it, just get it out to the people. And then I regret not doing those final polishes. So anywho, got the final 12 terabyte drive. We're going to pull out this 4 terabyte drive putting in the final 12 terabyte drive giving us 60 terabytes which obviously won't be usable terabytes but terabytes total that's redundancy so open the box pull out the last one we're gonna go from green lights to yellow we already know that's going to happen this bottom one's the hardest one to get out just because it's got the lip of the box next to it Ooh. And just like last time, it's like 8 o'clock at night, I think-ish. And so this has been running all day since the last one. So we go ahead and put the fifth and final one in. We're going to go from all greens to now flashing green and yellow once it spools up and it reads that drive. So now there are a total of 60 terabytes in here at roughly $458 a pop. This is a really expensive set. Uh, again, uh, you just have to factor in your youtube size channel and what's appropriate. And in the beginning stages, unless you right out of the gate made something super amazing, don't feel like you have to save it indefinitely. Saving on YouTube is good enough. Um, I have a lot of videos that I started off with back in the day that are no longer in existence today, and I'm quite all right with that. Um, so again, just take it at your own pace. But if you're at a bigger stage where you're filming very important things that you can't lose, something like this is great to go. I'll put a link in the description for the Amazon links which are affiliated but I'm not sponsored I bought the machine and the drives all myself anywho I'm gonna go let this thing do its thing and it'll probably take another 10-12 hours so I'll see you later